Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 3, Habakkuk asks God, he continues to pour out his questions. And he's saying, why do you tolerate wrong? Why do you make me look at injustice? How long, O oh God? And Habakkuk is tired of what he's been watching. Violence, conflict, destruction. And uh, he's just wondering, when are things going to change? God has not rescued. God has not changed the situation. There's more destruction. And so uh, Habakkuk's just wondering, God, if you're so good and powerful, why do you tolerate all this evil? And uh, it's a deep question. I think many of us have that question. So he's bringing that question to God and really underneath it, what you really, uh, on, the, on the most intimate layer here, is that Habakkuk is struggling to trust God. And I'm going to ask you, are you struggling to trust God? Is it across the board? Is it in one specific area? But at the core, that's what's happening. And so because Habakkuk doesn't trust God as much as he should or has, now it's difficult to serve God. Have you ever tried to serve God when you inside don't really feel like you can trust God? So Habakkuk, even though he's a prophet and this is going to be in the Bible later on. You know, at the time, it's a conversation. This is scripture. This is a really intimate look at Habakkuk's conversation with God. As all this is happening, uh, God's going to bring some answers. And we're going to talk about the answers uh, tomorrow. But in the meantime, would you guard your trust in the Lord and serving the Lord? Would you uh, right now um, be honest with God about where you're struggling, but continue to trust him and serve him even though you don't have all the answers. That's exactly where Habakkuk is at. I encourage you to continue to do that because the answers are coming. And uh, God brings answers, not always when and how we want him to, but he brings them. And in the meantime, as we wait, let's trust, let's serve, let's know that God is always good.